Hey guys, it's Julie. Um, first off, sorry if you hear something because I'm sitting outside today and I didn't want to wake up Natalie, so. Um, also, if you like my makeup, go follow my makeup Instagram. It's makeup underscore fiend. Makeup fiend? Yeah. I don't know. I'll link it in the bio so you can go follow me. Um, also, I'm not going to be able to edit this video. Sorry, it's going to be a little long. So um, let's get right into it. I made some notes. So hopefully it won't be that long. So I got pregnant when I was 16. That's what this video is about, <laughs> of course. Um, how I got pregnant is what I'm gonna start with. I was, and I'm gonna call my baby daddy Bob, so I don't have to say his name because we're not together. Um, so me and Bob were dating for about nine months before I got pregnant and um, my mom would not let me stay the night with him. So I would always lie and make up an excuse or I'll tell my mom I'm going to this friend's house and I'm going to this friend's house instead of telling her I was actually going to my baby daddy's house, Bob. So um, of course me and Bob did the dirty, you know. Um, we wore condoms sometimes and then eventually I missed my period and I didn't really think about it hard because I always had a off period like it was never always on time so I got a pregnancy test after like a month of my missed period and it actually came back negative so I didn't think I was pregnant and then another month went by and I wasn't really thinking about it and then I had the other pregnancy test in my drawer. So I was like, I'm gonna take the other pregnancy test. What are the odds? So I took the pregnancy test and the two lines came back positive and I was like in shock. I was crying because I was scared. I was only 16. Um, the first thing I did was tell my baby daddy, Bob, that I was pregnant and actually called him and he was sleeping. So, um, he didn't really pay attention. He went back to sleep and then the next morning he came over, picked me up and we talked about it and I was scared, he was scared. But he didn't really, it didn't really process to him yet. So, how I told my mom, um, I was pregnant for like a week, right? And remember how I told you I had the extra pregnancy test in my drawer and that's how I found out I was pregnant. So whenever I took the pregnancy test, I left the wrapper to the pregnancy test under our sink. And my mom had cleaned the sink about a week later, like cleaned the bathroom and found it and consulted in my older sister and was like, do you know if Julie's pregnant? And my sister actually asked me. So I told her that no, I wasn't pregnant and I had just started my period because I didn't want her to tell my mom. I didn't want my mom to find out that way. So, I actually went home with Cedric to my mom's house and uh, as soon as I walked in the house, I started crying and she started crying automatically because she already knew that I was pregnant. So, she was just like, she wasn't upset. I mean, she was upset, but she wasn't mad. Um, she was scared that we would have to live I would have to live the same way she lived because she also got pregnant when she was 16 and she didn't want my child to have to go through the struggle and me have to go through the struggle trying to take care of her so she just we spoke about it and eventually she was really happy and excited that she was having her first grandbaby um what it's like being pregnant and 16 um Obviously, people are going to judge you no matter what, but dang bugs, I'm sorry. But being pregnant at 16 is obviously going to, um, you're going to be judged more than you would be a regular mom, if that makes sense. Um, it was really hard because I couldn't get a job. I, I had a job, but I was so sick at first. I was really sick during my pregnancy. I had morning sickness the whole like two trimesters first two trimesters 
and um, yeah, I couldn't get a job, so I was really depending on my baby daddy. And if you didn't know this already, having a baby make or will break your relationship, and it definitely broke ours. Um, yeah, but I had a lot of people supporting me, and the baby shower I had a bunch of people help me. And after I had my daughter, um, I got a job. I actually work at Walmart right now. It's not the best, but you know, I'm trying to study to get my GED because I couldn't finish school because I was sick, like I said. And um, yeah, I have my own place now. Um, just me and my daughter, me and my baby daddy didn't work out for personal reasons. Um, but yeah, so that's my story um i'm sorry i couldn't have it more detailed but i just wanted to share with y'all my experience and i love my daughter now i would never take her back for anything and if you're a first time mom um please comment and tell me your story or what it was like having your daughter and what how your mom felt whenever you told them also, I'm here to support y'all, so if you need any help or have any questions, you can message me on Facebook or Instagram. I'll link it in the bio. Um, so, yeah. I hope y'all like this story. Bye.